Ron, we're back and we have one final question. Again, thank you so much for your time to answering of these questions from members. It's my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, Ron, last question from a member is, is the Alliance waiting for us to finish our spiritual preparations so we can start our humanitarian work? I think that that's a very good question. Uh, it's not a one answer question. <clears throat> let's let's put it this way. <clears throat> There's things that are gonna going to take place, events that will take place. And as these events take place, we're getting closer and closer to the reality of what we're trying to, to accomplish. So is the Alliance waiting for us before we can get the funds? Mm, I don't think that that's, a, that's true. I think it has more to do with, is it safe and secure for me to have the money in my personal safety and the use of the money for good things? Those are the questions that are more bearing on what's going to happen for us. Okay, having said that, we've discussed the ability to make changes in our lives and become more in harmony with the Alliance and the way that they want us to be in order for us, for them to give us the funds. Um, and I I go back to the directors. Uh, those those are the people that you want to have come and help you and uh, it's necessary for you to have the uh, ability to get confirmation on on the people that you hire it's not a big thing you just you just do it and you accomplish the things that you want to do by being in harmony with the spirit so you get confirmation from the alliance that things are right and there you go so uh, that is it, finishing our spiritual preparations, is learning how to communicate, listen to the voice of the Spirit, and have a conversation. It's a two-way street. It's a two-way communication. It's not a loud speaker and you're in the audience. You are the ones that are, we are the ones that are important to this whole process. And we have to show up in our nice clothes, shoes shine, hair combs into, into the Alliance and sit down and have a conversation with our, um, with the one that we're gonna call a counselor. We'll have conversations. This is what I'd like to ask for. This is, the, this is what I have and I'm asking for this rate. Okay, um, why do you feel that that's the right thing to do? Because I inquired about it. Oh, okay. Did, what, what was the answer you got? I got the answer of this, this is the right rate for me. Done deal. Heaven support you. You learned how to communicate. No questions. You're, you're standing in your power without worrying if you got it right because you got confirmation from a source that's consistent with your your resource with your counselor they come across they know everything so we're just preparing ourselves to be the best we possibly can and in doing so we're going to be self-assured self-confident and when we see that door, we say, this is my opportunity. I get to shine. And when you go in the room, then, you know, if he puts his hands up against the light that's coming from you, that's okay. <laughs> He's got his own problems if he has to do that. But you're shining bright, and that's the important thing. Show him who you are as a son or daughter of God in your power. And that's where you're going to succeed with the things that you want to do as a humanitarian. I hope that helps. Boy, did we end on a good note, on a great note. What a, what a fantastic answer, Ron. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate the time. And do you have any last minute thoughts or comments? Uh, 
It's all on our shoulders. Anything that we want is necessary for us to focus on and accomplish. And when we do so, we'll find the greatest joy that is available for us in this life. And that's what we're after. Men are that they might have joy. Of course, the women, they're full of joy anyway. So uh, I want everybody to know I love and appreciate you all for the potential that you bring to the table. And as you go through these kinds of uh, purifications in your life, we are going to be a humanitarian army that will bring forth the golden age of mankind. It's our destiny. So let's prepare for that. Love you all. Thank you. Ron, we love you. Thank you very much. And we'll be back with another series here um, very soon. Everyone take care. Thank you.